Although the spin-on remains the most popular type of automotive filter, the cartridge style is quickly making a comeback. Produced from fewer raw materials, the cartridge filter is becoming the environmentally preferred construction. Along with this filter type come a few new complexities related to the use and installation of cartridge style filters. When servicing the spin-on oil filter, the installer has a single piece construction to work with. The cartridge filter, however, has an element and very often other components that are necessary for correct installation. One such component is the O-ring. In spin-on filter applications, the seal is provided by an axial or face sealing gasket. This means that the sealing pressure is applied to the gasket from both sealing surfaces. Because the gasket is usually part of the filter construction, proper sealing is simply a matter of correct torque when installing the filter. The cartridge style filter fits inside of a housing that is usually mounted on the engine block. Although provided with the filter element, the O-ring is often intended for the filter housing. O-rings, like gaskets, provide a seal which prevent pressurized fluids from leaking from the filter housing. As the filter cap is tightened, a radial or side seal is created between the cap and the housing base. If the O-ring is incorrectly placed, not the correct size, or if the O-ring is not compatible with the fluids of the application, the seal can be compromised. The ID or inner diameter of the O-ring as well as the cross section or thickness of the O-ring are both critical dimensional characteristics. An O-ring that is oversized will extrude from its intended location and may become damaged when a housing cap is screwed into place. An undersized O-ring may be negatively impacted if overly stretched to fit a particular housing application. Both conditions can lead to leaks. If the cross section or thickness of the O-ring is too small, a positive seal will not be created. Properly sized, the O-ring will provide a barrier that prevents the loss of fluid. If the cross section is too large, the O-ring can potentially be cut or otherwise damaged during attempted installation. Both the ID and the cross section of an O-ring are intended to fit a specific seating area. When looking at filter caps, the correct placement of the O-ring is not always inherently obvious. Incorrect placement of the O-ring may also result in failure to achieve proper seal and consequently fluid loss. As some O-rings are intended for oil applications and others for fuel, it is important to use the correct type of O-ring. The O-ring that is included with the filter is made of a material that is specifically intended for your application. If used with an incompatible fluid, the O-ring may shrink or swell, and as mentioned earlier, both conditions can lead to fluid loss. When servicing cartridge style filters, provided O-rings should always be used to replace the ones from the previous installation. If the O-ring is not intended to be replaced at every filter change, the condition of the O-ring that is in service must be assessed. If the O-ring shows any indication of distortion or wear that can affect its ability to seal, it should be replaced. Following the original equipment instructions, place the O-ring into the correct location. A coat of clean oil applied to the O-ring and the threads of the cap will reduce the amount of friction that is applied during installation. This will make it easier to screw the cap back into place. Some O-rings have locator tabs to help ensure correct orientation and placement of the O-ring. Once the O-ring is completely seated, it should fit snugly around the cap. Do not use an O-ring that is oversized. Once the O-ring has been correctly placed and the filter cap has been torqued per the manufacturer's recommendation, make sure that none of the O-ring is exposed. When the servicing procedure is completed, let the engine idle for a while and again check to make sure that there are no leaks from the filter housing. 